Chris Hall, South Dakota Game, Fish, and Parks. Chronic wasting disease has existed in South Dakota for some time, but in recent years, South Dakota Game, Fish, and Parks biologists have ramped up the efforts to find out the exact distribution of this disease. Hunters can play a big part in finding out the distribution of chronic wasting disease in several ways. They can submit their deer or elk heads for testing, or they can remove the lymph nodes from the deer heads themselves and submit those from testing. I sat down with regional big game biologist Steve Griffin to talk about how to remove those lymph nodes and other ways to submit your deer for chronic wasting disease testing. So here's our subject right here, and we've done a little bit of prep on this. Sometimes you'll get a hunter harvest that'll come in and he'll, he'll want his antlers back and or he'll want a European mount. So this, in this case, we have already V-cut these antlers off. And as you'll see with this V-cut, this will come off. This will not affect your chronic wasting disease sample, okay? If, he, if a hunter wanted to leave the, the head on there for a European trophy mount, you would just leave the antlers on there and pull the sample and you won't affect him. If it's gonna be a mounted animal, deer and or elk, we're gonna need that hunter to have caped this animal off um, before they bring it in. And then in that case, the taxidermist will have already taken the antlers off. So we'll take, remove these antlers out of our way. Turn this animal over. What you're gonna look for in these animals is, on any animal, is look for the larynx which if you feel down the neck, you'll feel where it ends here. It's a, it's a little bump there. If you take your knife and you cut down through there, you can see the larynx right there. Continue down through. When you get through the windpipe on these, make a little S cut back, go back a little bit, and then down, and you should come to the occipital condyle joint, or the form, formin magnum, which is basically the opening of the uh, where the spinal column goes into the brain okay and we just loosen that up so here's the obex right there that's a tissue that we may collect on some samples but we're not going to go there this time so i'm going to move over now to my scalpel and my tweezers i like to tell people to use your tweezers because i don't want you cutting your fingers off what to look for on these animals here you have your opening for your your uh, nose area See these muscles right here? That's a key to look for. What I want you to do is pull down on these muscles and separate the tissue above these muscles from the tissue above it. And as you do this, you'll create this cavity down here. When you get into this cavity, you can already see we have a node on this side and we have a node on this side. So that's very how simple it is. It's right there, right there. So all you do on these is you just cut these out, kind of pull them out, peel them out using your tweezers and just pull that node out. And there's one of your nodes right there. The other node is just on the opposite side and you do the same thing. You just kind of cut this out as you're doing this. And there you have your other retropharyngeal lymph node. So in the end here, what you're going to look for on this animal again is you're going to look for these two muscle tissues right above the occipital condyles. And as you peel that back, those nodes will be right down here and you'll see the opening or the voids where those nodes were. Another thing, if you go too far in, I just want to show you if I cut here, I've cut into the throat. And that means you're, you're way too deep. You don't need to be that deep. Any hunter could have their deer or elk tested for chronic wasting disease. Here are several ways how. Deliver the deer or elk head to one of 30 designated stations or a GFP office. If bringing a deer or elk head to a GFP office to have a sample collected, we suggest contacting a GFP office to ensure someone will be there to help you collect your sample. Collect your own sample by using the process we just showed you. You can call a GFP office or your local conservation officer to request a submission kit or go to gfp.sd.gov backslash chronic dash wasting dash disease and click on the CWD submission form link located under the related documents section.